Okay, hello guys. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good to see you. Hello, Benjamin, Yvonne, Rose. Good to see you, Rose. How are you? What's up? Are you okay? Yes. Okay, okay. I, I hear you. You are kind of, right? Oh, you are okay. ¿Qué tal? Yes. Yes. ¿Cómo estamos? Ya voy mejorando, gracias. Mejorando. Ah, vale. Me alegro, me alegro. Lo importante es que se cuide, right? Ok, sí, guys. Me varios días acá, Pero el encierro, ¿cómo que? Quizás es de las cosas que uno menos quisiera, ¿verdad? <risa> Sabe que aquí se cumple donde dicen que nadie está a gusto como Dios lo tiene, porque a veces deseamos descansar, pero ahorita que sé que no puedo salir, no, es un martirio de veras. Me imagino, más si usted es activa, eh, eso sí. sí que es bien tedioso, pero bueno, son por unos días, ¿verdad? Sí, ya, me faltan como 13 días nada más. Ya, ya casi. Estoy viendo fuerte por acá. Ya casi, ya casi, pero es mejor que se quede así, a veces en los hospitales sale... Como que si uno va ahí, es peor, ¿verdad? Entonces, mejor estar sí. encerradito. Y gracias a Dios, los síntomas no son tan severos. Los tengo estables, entonces, mejor aquí en casa. Sí, sí, mejor, es cierto. Que a veces lo que dicen que vale más es como el, el, la condición de uno, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, lo que tenga azúcar, tenga eh, problemas así con de, de pulmones o cosas así, o con el cigarro. A, a ellos como que les va un poquito peor. Sí, Chirita, este virus ha venido a hacernos conciencia también en nuestra alimentación, en Cierto. nuestra forma de cuidar nuestro cuerpo. O sea, es como que el que esté uh -huh. preparado para eso lo va a soportar y el que no... Sí. Va... Ahí en el cielo nos vamos a ver. Sí. <risa> <risa> pues sí, ¿verdad? ¿Qué? Sí, y, y sabe que hay mucha gente que, que con esto como, como se ha hecho más, más quisquillosa, ¿verdad? Sí, que Yo ahora... Yo era así, sí, 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 me cuidaba y mire, no sé ni cómo me llegó. <ríe> mire, sí, sí, tremendo, tremendo. Pero ya casi, Rose, va, va bastante bien, la verdad que se ve bastante bien. Hay que seguir con, los, con las recomendaciones. Gracias, Pichu. Sí, y en lo que pueda, manténgase ocupada, eh. Eh, ve algún curso que le guste eso, eso es lo más importante que se mantenga ocupada si no se va a deprimir haga ejercicios ahí en el cuarto lo que pasa es que si me canso si sí me va a poner oxígeno ah bueno, ah pues no sí, sí, eso sí ok, ok guys bueno saber que está bien ok guys, let's go to the class thank you so much for coming early right, vamos a empezar la clase And I start with the Alexi, no más, no more. Okay, Benjamin, yes. Let's see. David, estaba pensando en usted, David. I was thinking about you. Yesterday, you, you missed, right? Fue suerte. It was very good luck. But now creo que también, porque no va su compañero. Aquí está. Ah, aquí está. ¿Quién es? Benjamin. Oh, yo pensé que era Raúl, yo pensé que era no, Raúl. Benjamin. Ah, ok, okay perfecto. Solo que dice que está lloviendo fuerte Ajá. y que no sabe si va a poder decirlo bien por el, por el tema de la, de la lluvia. Pero yo le digo que vamos a intentar. Vamos a intentar, Benjamin. Ok, perfect. Ok, let's see. Carmen, ¿no está? Carmen, no. Ok, Carolina Vigail. Carolina, ¿no está? Ok. Eh, David. No, oh yes, yes, I think. Present yes. teacher. <laughs> okay, let's see. Grace, Michelle, Grace. Yes, there you are, Grace. Yes, teacher, Hello. present. It got it. And uh, then we have Grace, Ibeth, Ibeth. Is that Ibeth? No. Okay, what about Juan Antonio? Juan, no está. Okay, no. And uh, Karen Yvonne, yes. Let's see, Karina Araceli, Karina Araceli, no. María Julia, 
María Julia, no. María, no. Karina Araceli, no. Karina Araceli, no. María Julia, no yet. Raúl Otoniel, no right. Rose, yes. Okay. And Selina, yes, Selina, hello. Present teacher. Okay, Jancy, Jancy, no. Okay, guys. Let's go to the lesson. What did we study yesterday? Present what teacher. Did... Okay, Carlos, Carlos, no, no dije su nombre, Carlos. No, mire. Ah, no, Carlos, ¿qué pasó? Aquí estoy. <laughs> es que usted es un muy, muy angry customer. <laughs> No. <risa> Pasa eh, desapercibido. No, no. <risa> Ayer me hubiera gustado la clase. No sé si vio la clase, Rose. No, esa no ha llegado todavía. Dice, mira, ah, no. eso me iba a preguntar. No, no he perdido nada, Rose. <risa> piense, que, piense que yo quiero ponerme una clase, pero de repente se ven así. Eh, Carlos haciendo unos movimientos bien raros, como que se traba la imagen y no avanza. Ajá, de verdad. ¿Ya lo vi en YouTube? Ah, no, yo me metí a, este, a inglés corporativo, la aplicación. La, la ¿Ya la puede ver en YouTube? En YouTube está mejor, fíjese. Ah, ok. Le voy a compartir quizás el link para que ustedes los lo pueda ver ahí. Por favor, es, teacher, sí. porque sí me he querido poner al día, pero eso uh -huh. no me ha permitido porque se ven así como cortados. Ah, qué raro. Bueno, uh -huh. se lo he, le, me, me recuerda de compartir el enlace. Ok, gracias. Ok. So let's go, guys. And uh, yesterday, what did we study? Um, Benjamin, what did we study yesterday? Can you tell us, please? What did we study yesterday? Yes, Benjamin? Can you hear me? Oh, no, you have the problems, right? Okay, uh, Yvonne, what did we study yesterday? Hi, good evening. Good evening, hello. Okay, let's go, Yvonne, tell me. Um, what ways to report uh, a problem? Yes, we study ways to report a problem, right? Very good, Yvonne. Quiero felicitarla, Yvonne. Estamos, uh, al principio como que eh, la notaba como que algo tímida, pero ahora ya veo que estamos avanzando bastante. La felicito. La ah, felicito, no, en serio que sí. Ways to report a problem. Muy bien. Ok, let's see. What else? Eh, Carlos, what else did we learn? What? What else did we learn? ¿Qué más aprendimos? What, what else did we learn? Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. mm. How, how to, to say complain. Okay, how to say, uh, give me one example. Give me one example. Um, uh, I don't remember uh, means uh, complain. Complain, yeah. Mm -hmm. Eh, eh, no, no recuerdo el significado de complain. Quejas, right? Quejas. Complaints. Eh, eh, uh -huh. eh, how to, to, how to be eh, polite. Gently. Polite, ok. Polite. polite. Podemos decir polite. kind, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. What else? Eh, Mm -hmm. yeah. bien. Very good. Uh, okay. Okay, that's enough. Okay, thank you. That's enough. Suficient. That's sufficient. Okay. So um yes, basically we learned about how to make complaints, como quejarse también. Dijimos que habían como tres steps, right? When you are complaining. ¿Cuál era el primero? El primero era to state the problem, right? To state the problem presentar el problema, state the problem. Then we have to show our feelings, right? To show what, how we feel, to show how we feel. And then to ask for a solution, right? Ask 
four solutions. Okay, basically we followed some steps yesterday about how to complain. Y utilizamos también um, one word, would, right? Utilizamos el would, que significa I would like, algo bien polite, right? I would like uh, you to fix uh, my computer. Me gustaría que pueda arreglar my computer, right? Uh, we learn other expressions too. Uh, for example, can you? Okay, and uh, there were some others, right? Uh, what's wrong también? I'm afraid, I have a complaint, etc. Okay, so let's move on to the lesson. Y vamos a seguir estudiando uh, a topic related to this one. Give me just a moment to share. Okay, there it is. Can you see my screen? Pueden ver mi, mi, mi screen? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, solo recordarles que el día de ahora me parece que ya todos recibimos el correo para la evaluación del día miércoles. Creo que ya todos recibimos esa información. Al correo. No, no sé si se las van a enviar ahora o al día lunes, pero eh, necesitamos que ustedes eh, puedan verificar esa información y recordarles que vamos a hacer el examen acá, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer la encuesta acá y sí tenemos que hacerla con los datos que les voy a proporcionar. Entonces, sí pedirle nada más eso, que no vayamos a hacer la encuesta si no es aquí en la clase, ¿ok? Yo le voy a dar tiempo y usted lo va a poder hacer en la clase. ¿Ok? Ok, good. Ok, okay vámonos entonces. Tenemos el tema how to use would like, right? Ayer vimos las expressions. Hoy vamos a ver cómo hacer preguntas, how to do sentences, y vamos a ver other topics related to this one. So let's have a look of this picture. Okay. What do you see in the picture, David? Tell me, what do you see in the picture? Okay, sorry. Okay, and in the I see mm -hmm. the the hand the hand iron the robot. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, is uh, the move mm -hmm. um, the recipient? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, destapar, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Um, I don't remember. I'm gonna look for it. I'm going to look for it. Okay. Okay, what else do you see? Uh, uh, maybe uh, make the the move, movement mm -hmm. uh, similar to human. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe, right? Maybe the uh, artificial, artificial intelligence. Yes, exactly right. It, it is like that, artificial intelligence. And the word you said, it is just open. According to the dictionary, it is just open. Just open the... Open, yeah. Open the bottle. Open the bottle, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Tell me more. That's it. Okay, that's it. Okay, what is the robot doing? Uh, let's see. Grace, what is the robot doing? Tell me. What can robots do, by the way? Hello, Grace. No? Okay, Karina. What about you, Karina? Uh, what is the robot doing? What else do you think this robot can do? La pregunta dos. Question one. Les voy a pedir a los demás que completemos las respuestas de la 1 a la 3 en el chat box. Ok, let's write the answers in the chat box. Y yo les sigo preguntando. And I'm going to continue asking you. Ok, Karina. So tell me, uh, what is the robot doing? What else do you think this robot can do? ¿Qué es lo que más cree que un robot puede hacer? Uh -huh. I think the robot has mm -hmm. um, ¿Cómo puedo decir? 
the translation that. I'm sorry. Translation that. Como trasladar datos. Okay, to move data, datos. Mm -hmm. datos. To move data, data. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, a, um, Uh -huh. Y I have the word the human. Okay. Human. Okay, yes. Uh, they can do some of the human jobs. Okay, muy bien. Would you like to have a robot at home? Let's see, Abigail. Would you like to have a robot at home? Okay, no nos olvidemos de responder las tres preguntas en el chat box, okay? Okay, leo sus respuestas. Okay, I repeat, no nos olvidemos de responder las tres preguntas que tenemos acá. Okay, tenemos look at the photo, what is the robot doing? What else do you think this robot can do? Okay, would you like to have a robot? Okay, in your case, eh, let's see, Abigail, no sé si está ahí, Abigail, hello. Okay. Hello, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, David, tell me, would you like to have a robot at home? Yes. Tell me why. Uh, because um, he helped me uh -huh. in the the whatever things. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. 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 They can help you, right? With anything you have at home. Okay, what about, thank you, baby. What about you, Yvonne? Would you like to have a robot at home? Yes? Yes. yes. Yeah? Okay, why? Tell me why. Um, uh, it would help me with the homework. Yeah. Homework. Exactly right. They would help you with the homework. Muy um, bien. With the, ellos nos ayudarían, right? They would help me. Muy buena frase. With the homework. Very good. Ellos nos ayudarían con las tareas. Okay, what about you, Carlos? Would you like to have a robot at home? Um, yes, would like. And in, uh, in my house, mm -hmm. because. Uh, uh, the robot uh, help me with mm -hmm. the cleaning the house. <laughs> to clean the house, yes. <laughs> yes, definitely right. Uh, Ellos nos ayudarían, the, right? They wash the, the dishes. <laughs> exactly. To wash the dishes. Yeah, exactly right. That. Okay, no nos olvidemos que cuando decimos, por ejemplo, ellos nos ayudarían. Ese ayudaría, le estamos utilizando el would. Por ejemplo, como es algo hipotético, ahí tendríamos que decir they would do the task or the chores, right? They would do the, the cleaning también. Ellos harían la limpieza. Entonces, cuando decimos harían, vivirían, ese, esa traducción vamos a utilizar el would más el verbo. Okay. Okay, let's see another. Um, Rose, would you like to have a robot at home? Yes, I'd like. To yes. Have robot. Mm -hmm. Yes. As well as Robotina of the mm -hmm. Supersonic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I remember her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Why? Why? Tell me. Because. Uh, Como dijo, ayudaría. They would help us or would help me. Okay. Uh -huh. Because would help me uh, clean of my house. Yes, right. They would help me to clean the house. Yes. Exactly, right. Okay, no nos olvidemos que cuando decimos would, would, no se pronuncia la L. La L no es, es silent en el caso de would. No decimos would, no. Decimos would, would. Ok, 
Eh, let's see, vamos a leer entonces your answers. <laughs> ok, Benjamín, ya leí su mensaje, got it. The robot is opening a boat. Muy bien, Rose. Ok. The robot is on a screen. Ok, or opening too, right, Carlos? The can. Yes, I... Cuando decimos me gustaría, vamos a utilizar yes, I would like. Yes, I would like. Sí, me gustaría tener un robot. Yes, I would like to have a robot at home. Okay, me gustaría. Okay, veamos, what else? Yes, I would because they will do the cleaning. Okay, perfect, Carlos. The robot is close the boat. No sé, David, ahí. What do you mean? The robot is... Uh, maybe, maybe no open. Maybe close. The hard or boat, uh, or boat. The, the frasco. The bottle. Ah, the bottle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or the can también, because no se escribieron can. It can be right. Okay, let's continue. Okay, how many machines do we have at home? ¿Cuántas máquinas tenemos at home? How many machines? I don't have any machine, right? Yo no tengo machines at home. Teacher. Yes? You mm -hmm. have seen the movie I Robot. I, um, we will, no. The Will Smith. Will Smith or el que murió, the one who died? No, Will Smith. Yes, yes, creo que sí. I robot. Yeah, uh -huh. I remember the the glass. Mm -hmm. the, the movie. Oh, the glass. Or the car. They're no, the no. Uh, no. Uh, the, the movie, uh, the name of the movie is the I robot. Mm -hmm. Yes. That they fight, right? Yes. Okay, yes, yes. Eso están como luchando ahora para crear nuevas inventions related to... De hecho, en, vamos a ver una lectura más adelante, eh, que en Japón, no sé si en Japón o en Tailandia, ahora hay maestros, pero que son robots. Ya no son humanos, they are robots. Hay un país que sí, tiene teachers que son robots. También hay que los atienden, right? Ok, good guys. Ya tenemos un poquito de vocabulary. Let's continue with a reading que está relacionada también con los robots. Okay, can you help me? Let's see. Um, let's see, can you help me? Carlos, the first paragraph. Okay. Uh, uh, the the, Ninets. Ninets, the uh -huh. Ninets people are from Western Siberia. Some Ninets live in towns and villages. Villages, villages, villages. Uh -huh. but many are nomadic. Uh -huh. Nomadic people move from place to place. Nomadic ninnes follow their reindeer herds and travel around Siberia all year. Uh -huh. They live in camps. Some ninnes children travel with days and learn at, the, at a special nomadic school. Uh, teachers travel with the families in the classroom or in the camps. Mm -hmm. Some continue. Yeah, please continue. Uh, some classes are the same as classes are traditional schools, but in other classes, the children also learn about Ninet's tradition and skills. Okay, perfect. No sé si tengamos alguna palabra. Any uh, word? There are so many there, right? No, no, uh, Ninet. It, it is the name. It is the name of the of the of the people. Es el nombre. That's ah, the name. Reindeer. Okay. Or mm -hmm. reindeer um, hairs is com it are como los los renos, right? Los que se utilizan en estos lugares, in these cold places, los renos. Rain, rain. Oh. Mm -hmm. Any other? Tenemos las villages, right? Que son los pueblos. Las villages. Okay. 
Yeah, right. Okay, let's see. Okay, can you help me, Yvonne, please? At an... At an elementary school in South Korea, children have a new English language teacher. It's a robot. A teacher in Australia looks into the camera and speaks. In their classroom in South Korea, the children hear the teacher's voice and see her face on the robot screen. They mm -hmm. follow, continue. Yeah, please. Uh, they follow hearing instruction, instruction and practice, and practice okay. their English. English. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so there you see, as I was telling you, right, that there is a robot in South Korea, right? And the teacher is there. So in South Korea, we can see like robots. Podemos ver que hay teachers que son como robots, right? Y la teacher está inside, right? Como en este momento, quizás solo que I would be a robot instead. In the robot, right? Okay, what about in the next one? Can you help me, Rose? Can you speak? Okay. Uh -huh. In Bangladesh, it's often difficult for children to get to school because of heavy rain. Uh -huh. But thousands of students now study at flooding school. It's easy to these students to go to school even in bad weather because flooding school are on boats. Uh -huh. There are also no, no se pronuncia así, ¿verdad? floating, floating, floating libraries with a lot, a lot of books and laptops. Yeah, okay. So imagine tienen eh, la escuela, right? Que está floating. O sea, que van como en los barcos, están floating, right? Okay, that would be something interesting to see here. Okay, floating libraries también, right? with a lot of books and laptops. Okay, can you help me? Um, I don't know if you can speak, Gabby, can you speak? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you read the next one? What's your classroom like? What's your classroom like? Do you do your homework from a robot? Do you travel with your play classmate to a different place every week? Do you learn on the land of the world? Okay, good. Uh, any word, guys? Any questions about the reading? No sé si tienen preguntas about the reading. No questions? What do you think about the reading? Is that, is that interesting? Is it something new? Ya sabíamos de eso. Yo, the first time que escucho these type of things, right? Ok, so vamos a trabajar entonces in pairs y vamos a contestar this part. And uh, you are going to discuss, right, for example, what do you think schools in South Korea have robot teacher? Why? ¿Por qué tienen los teachers que son robots, right? And would you like to learn from a robot teacher? Usted le va a preguntar eso a su compañero and vice versa. Why and why not? Vamos a tener five minutes and then you are going to tell me what your classmates said. Okay, no sé si tengamos dudas about the activity. Try to speak right. Uh, avoid Spanish as much as you can so you're gonna see how your English is becoming fluent. Okay, no questions? No sé si hay dudas, questions? Let me know. No? Okay, good. Let's go. This part, les comparto entonces in the chat box. So try to speak as much as you can. Let's go, five minutes, okay?
Hello, Jancy, ¿cómo vamos? Hello, hello.
Okay, guys, tell me what did you discuss? Okay, I'm gonna start with Rose. Tell me, what did you discuss? My answer is because it's often difficult children to get to school mm -hmm. because of heavy rain. Mm -hmm. Um, second, uh, I don't like, I think, uh, I don't learn. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about your partner? What did he say or she said? Abigail. Okay. What did she say? Tell me, Abigail. What did you discuss? Me había quedado solo con la primera. Estamos conversando con Rosy. Ok. Tell me. De mencionar. Uh -huh. uh, She said. Bangladesh is of is often difficult for children to get because of heavy rain. Uh -huh. Okay, that's it. Okay, good. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't know, uh, Carlos. Did you have a partner? No, uh, uh, alone. <laughs> you were alone. Yeah. Okay, so tell me. I have two. Okay. Answer. Tell me. Tell me the answers. Okay. Um, uh, why do you think school in South Korea have a robot teacher? Uh -huh. uh, I think that is good and is bad. Uh -huh. Good because a machine uh, don't eat, don't tire. Doesn't. Uh, that's it, that's mm -hmm. it. And we bad because the robots mm -hmm. use a job that will use a person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and exactly. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, number two, uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, that I don't because or that's how I feel, mm -hmm. emotion, gestures, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's necessary that is for better. Okay, okay. <laughs> Very good point. Very good point. Okay. So let's listen your answer. Hey, Benjamin, no sé si pueda compartirnos. Can you share with us? No sé, Benjamin, or no? Todavía no, Benjamin? No yet, ok. Yo veo, eh, veo su respuesta en el chat, quizás ahí nos pueda responder. Ok, so David, what, what about your partner and your group? What did you discuss? Ok, teacher, and the number one, and why do you think school in the South Korea have robot teachers? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe to be uh, about more class, classes to the students. Mm -hmm. Uh, the second uh, question, mm -hmm. uh, would you like to learn from a robot teacher? Uh, I don't like mm -hmm. uh, in the, the why, the third question, uh, I don't like because I can interact mm -hmm. and learning is boring. Learning is boring, okay. Yeah, right. Learning would be boring. I okay. like the interaction. You like the interactions, right? Yeah. yeah, they they have no feelings, right? Yes, no feeling. Igual que las plata, igual que las plataformas otras de Open English y todo lo demás. <laughs> boring. Okay, boring, right? Yes, that, that that is what happens, right? When you have machines instead of human, we are accustomed to that. Ok, good. Um, let me just share algunas expresiones que también podemos utilizar, right, para, por ejemplo, en las reactions que podemos tener. Eh, podemos tener, por ejemplo, that's amazing, right? Eso significa esto es fantástico, that's amazing. O podemos también reaccionar como that's fantastic or that's so cool, teacher, I like that. Como que eso está bien entusiasmado, right, con la idea. 
En el caso opuesto, ¿verdad? Que a usted no le guste algo, usted diga, ah, no, eso es aburrido, that's boring, that's boring. O, por ejemplo, that's kind of weird. Eso es como algo raro. Luego tenemos, that's a scary, teacher. That's a scary. Eso como que da miedo. Okay, so repeat after me, please. Uh, I'm going to say it and then I want to listen each of you to read the expressions. Okay, number one, that's amazing. Repeat, guys. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's fantastic. That's, That's fantastic. fantastic. That's so cool. That's, That's so cool. That's boring. That's, That's boring. boring. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. It's scary. That's scary. Scary. Okay. Good. Uh, let's listen to, let's see, Jancy. Eh, no sé si las podemos leer, Jancy. Can you read them? That amazing. That fantastic. That's fantastic, right? That's fantastic. That's so cool. That boring. That's of very. Okay. Okay. That's kind of. That's kind of. Mm -hmm. Very weird. Weird. Mm -hmm. That's scary. 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 Very good, Jancy. Okay. Let's listen to Rose. Okay. Ready, Rose? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. That's boring. Mm -hmm. That's kind of very weird. Very weird. Weird. That's of weird. That's scary. That's scary. Okay, there you have. Okay, I want to listen to, let's see, Karina. No sé si podemos, Karina. Hello? Yes, teacher. So I want to listen your voice, your pronunciation. Go ahead. That's uh -huh. amazing. Uh -huh. That's fantastic. Uh -huh. That's so cool. Uh -huh. That's boring. Mm -hmm. That's kind of word. Kind. That's kind of weird. Weird. Okay. That's scary. That's scary. Okay, guys, good. Completamos esta, uh, this part, right, con las expresiones que tengamos acá, in the lines, right? Okay, let's complete that. It says, there is an article in the Amazon about robots. Robots, okay, ¿qué expresión podemos utilizar ahí? Copiémosla, let's copy it in the notebooks or in the uh, word you are working, okay? Using the expression, vamos a utilizar the expressions. Chera, ¿Hm? ¿podría repetir que en, en lo que estaba diciendo que íbamos a hacerse fue el inter? Okay, eh, el... These expressions, eh, Juan, can you see the expressions? Yes, yes. I choose one expression that matches with the dialogue, with the conversation. Okay. Okay, perfect. So let's go.
Okay, guys, ready? Yep. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, Carlos, you're going to be Chris, and uh, Juan, you're going to be Mariana. Ready? Con emotion, ¿verdad? Con emotion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. No, no entendí quién es. Hey, hey, you're going to be Chris, Carlos, and uh, Marianne is going to be Juan. Okay? Go ahead. Okay. Hey, can, can you start? Para que Carlos, you para que start? Carlos, you're going to be Chris, and Juan is okay. going to be uh, Marianne. Okay? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, there's an article in this magazine about robots. Mm -hmm. Robots? Scary. Uh, no, it isn't. It isn't. It's really interesting. This robot looks like a baby seal. So cool. Uh, they even use them in hospitals. In hospitals? That's boring. No, really. The robots helps patients feel happy and re relaxed. Really? That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic, right? <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Con emotion, right? We feel it. Well, we feel it. <laughs> okay, let's listen another. Uh, Jancy, are you if you are ready, Jancy? No, todavía no. Me falta un poquito. Okay, David, what about you, David? Ready? All right. Okay, so uh, Grace, are you ready, Grace? Yes, teacher. So Chris, you're going to be David. David is going to be Chris. And uh, Grace is going to be Mariana. Ready? Okay, ready. ready. Okay, go ahead. Okay. There are Arctic is amazing about robots. Robots? That's boring. No, it isn't. Uh, it's really interesting. This robot looks a baby seal. Wow, that's scary. They even use them in hospitals. In hospital? It's amazing. Not ready. The robots help patients feel happy and relax. Really? That's so cool. Okay, that's so cool. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, don't forget that this is even, right? Even. They even, even use them. Ellos incluso lo us los usan en los hospitales. They even, okay? Uh -huh. uh, what is baby seal? Baby seal, it is like the foquitas, focas. Like ah, a baby, okay. like a robot, right? Yeah. Okay, oh, that is like the mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, oh, yes, patient, right? Patients, patients, mm -hmm. patients. They, the robots help patients. Okay, no sé si alguien más quiere intentarlo. Somebody else, a couple, somebody? Mm -hmm. No, okay. So let's continue then with the topic. So let's move to the topic, right? Okay, vamos a dejar ese dialog para después. Lo que me interesa es eh, the grammar section that we have for today. Okay, eh, tenemos dos, two types of questions, right? Tenemos el, do you want to see a movie with me tonight? Que es el simple present del que estamos utilizando. Sure, I really like to see a good comedy. Sí, me gustaría ver una buena comedia. I'd like to see a movie, but I have to work late. Entonces, lo que vimos el día de ayer era que para decir como me gustaría o también para decir algo como que usted quisiera hacer, right? Que le gustaría hacer, podemos utilizar el would. Entonces, sería I would like to Siempre va a ser así. I would like to watch a movie. Me gustaría ver una película. Okay. 
siempre va a llevar el to si estamos utilizando like. Eh, por ejemplo, I would like to, eh, I would like, I would like to travel, right? Me gustaría viajar. También en el caso que quisiéramos como pedirle a alguien salir algo de forma polite. Would you like, would you like to go out with me? ¿Te gustaría salir conmigo? Would you like to go out with me? Entonces esas traducciones cuando decimos de me gustaría, vamos a utilizar el would. Ok, en pregunta siempre, siempre iría would al principio. Ok, entonces si sería would you like, podemos responder yes, I would. I would like or yes, I would or no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Ok, no sé si hay dudas, questions. Tenemos de the, the questions, right? Would you like to go to an art festival? Algo bien polite. ¿Te gustaría ir al art festival? Yes, I'd love it. Sí, me encantaría. También es otra respuesta. Yes, I would love it. Uh -huh. Ok, no sé si hay uh, preguntas acerca del would. O también podemos utilizarlo con las WH questions, ¿verdad? En el caso de las WH questions podemos decir What would you like to do tomorrow? ¿Qué te gustaría hacer mañana? What would you like to do tomorrow, eh, Rose? What would you like to do tomorrow? ¿Qué le gustaría hacer mañana? I would like um, salir, teacher. I would like to go out. <laughs> I would like from to my, go out. From my uh, room, right? <laughs> from my room, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, entonces, para hacer la pregunta, siempre vamos a, uh, uh, to write what al principio. Luego iría would, el sujeto, like, más el to. No nos olvidemos del to, porque el to, it is essential, más el verbo, right? En forma normal. Ok, what about, eh, let's see, eh, Yvonne, would you like to eat eh, pizza tonight? Would you like to eat pizza tonight? Yes, yes, I love me, love, to, no sé, me encantaría, yes. I would love it, I I would love it. Okay, there you have. I uh, would you like to eat pizza? Okay, and she says, yes, I would love it. O de la forma contraria, que podemos decir, yes, I'd, I'd love it. Okay, there you have the explanation. No sé si hay dudas, questions. No, teacher. No? Okay, we are good. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's, let's practice, right? Let's practice. Quiero que hagamos una pregunta a su compañero, okay? I'm going to start and then alguien más, somebody else is going to continue. Okay, I'm going to start with, uh, let's see, uh, you, Juan. Would you like to eat spinach tonight? Would you like to eat spinach tonight? ¿Qué? Spinach? ¿Espinaca? Mm. Mm. Would you like to eat spinach tonight? Eh, no, pero para el negativo. Ajá. No. No, I wouldn't. Ok, recordemos que la L no se pronuncia, ok. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. What would you like to eat, Juan? What would you like to eat? Uh, <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I like I like to eat mm -mm -mm. 
No. No. I would. Pues sí, solo estaba haciendo contractado. Ah, es que no se le escuchó, no se le escuchó. Ok, one more time. I'd. I'd. Uh -huh. I'd. Want to eat. To eat hamburger. Ok, I, I'd like to eat hamburger, right? Hamburger. Hamburger, yeah. Uh -huh. I'd like to eat hamburger. Me gustaría comer hamburgers, right? Ok, now mm -hmm. ask a question to, let's see, to Carlos. Carlos, yeah. uh, would you like to go? How do you say this? I'm sorry, Juan. How do you say this? How do you pronounce it? This one. How do you pronounce this one? Would you? There you have, Aisa. Mm -hmm. Continue. Would you like to go to? The beach tomorrow. The beach. <laughs> the beach. The beach. The beach. Beach. Uh -huh. ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would like. What were you thinking, Carlos? <laughs> 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 no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 <risa> no, no había pensado eso. Hasta rojo se no, no. I would like uh -huh. to, I would like to go to beach. I would like to go to the beach, right? To the beach. Okay. <risa> <risa> okay, Carlos, just uh, ask a question to Jancy. Jancy, are you there, Jancy? Hello? Eh, Jancy. Veamos, Jancy. vamos a ver si podemos responder. Ok, yes, sure, okay. you can, you can. Go ahead, okay. Carlos. Uh -huh. eh, would you like to eat seafood? Eh, um, yes, I would love it. Ok, yes, I would, repeat, Jancy, would yes, love oh. it. Love it. Very good. Yes, I would love it. Okay, very good, Carlos. Okay, Jancy, ask a question to Yvonne. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, perdón, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Mm -hmm. Would, 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 do you like to tomato? Okay, vamos otra vez, Jancy. Would you like? Would you like to uh -huh. go Tomato. To, tomato. to eat. Would you like to eat? Uh -huh. ¿Le gustaría comer tomatoes? Would you like to eat tomatoes, Yvonne? Yes, I would. Yes, I would, right? Yes, there you have. Perfect. Okay. Yvonne, ask a question to um, Rose, please. The Rose. What, what would you... What would... Do you dance salsa, salsa, salsa? ¿Cómo se dice? Like, okay. Would you like to dance salsa? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What? Would, would you like? ¿O qué música? No sé qué. qué, eh, qué... No, salsa, ajá. La, salsa, la, la okay. salsa. Okay, would you like dance. to, okay, to dance, dance. salsa? ¿Le gustaría yes. bailar salsa? Would you like? Yes. Yeah. Like. Yes. Yes, I would like. Yes, I would like. Okay. Perfect, Rose. Thank you, Yvonne. Okay. No sé si hay dudas, questions. Recordemos nuevamente que esta no la no pronunciamos la L, ¿ok? Siempre ustedes van a ver más adelante este, por ejemplo, would. Esta palabra de could. Esas nunca vamos a mencionar la letra L. En la escritura sí la vamos a, a, a hacer, right? Pero eh, cuando estamos hablando, no. No la vamos a pronunciar. Ok, así que take care with that.
Okay, no sé si hay dudas. If not, I can proceed, right? Can I proceed, guys? Teacher, ¿Hm? I have a question. I have eh, or I am? Es que yo soy una pregunta. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, eh, go ahead, tell me. <laughs> este, en, en la respuesta yo veo que cuando lo ponen entre paréntesis es como para hacer referencia, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. que queda en la forma corta. Uh -huh. ah, eh, porque nosotros decimos, yes, I love, love it. I love it. Uh -huh. Ok, eh, es que... que aquí, uh -huh. Ellos no tienen, I love to. Como acuérdese que a ellos les gusta reducir todo, ¿verdad? Pero usted solo decir, I love to, si ya se entiende que sí quisiera ir al lugar. Y no es necesario agregar la la información extra que esté en los paréntesis. Oh, oh, okay. Puede ser simplemente okay. decir, yes, I would like to, y hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Y se entiende que si sí quisiera ir. Okay. ok, thank you. Ok, there you have. Es como para no estar repitiendo la misma información. Ok, ok, good. May I continue, guys? Yeah. Ok, so let's, yeah. do, okay, so let's do this exercise. Vamos a hacer this exercise. Ok, lo vamos a hacer in pairs, right? And uh, you can compare, right? Ok. Les comparto entonces. Lo que vamos a hacer ya no les comparto. Ok. Primero vamos a completar si es que vamos a utilizar el would o si vamos a utilizar el have to, el que vimos al principio. Y una vez tengamos las, las preguntas, vamos a hacer el match con las answers, right? Ok, no sé si hay dudas. No? Ok, good. So let's go to the breakout rooms and we are going to work in this activity. Ok, ¿sí? Hello, Grace.
Hello, guys. Questions? ¿Cómo vamos? Hello, Abigail Rose. Can you hear me? ¿Me escuchan? Hola. Yes, teacher. Ok. Questions? Eh, ¿Cómo vamos? Prácticamente estoy sola y estoy un poco perdida. Ah, dígame. Uh -huh. No sé, number two. Uh -huh. Está bien así o que acuerdo de las questions con el help to. Sí, está bastante bien. Do you have to go to the basketball game tomorrow now? Yes. Sí, está bien. Ok. Uh -huh. Vamos bastante bien, Rose. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok. Aquí eh, sería, would you like to see, verdad? Sí, like to. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Would you like tonight. to see a play tonight? Ok, good. Uh -huh. Puedo identificar los dos usos, ¿verdad? El will y el have will? to. Uh -huh. will, uh -huh. will y have to. And have to. And have to. ¿Cómo identificarlos? ¿Esa es su pregunta? Sí. Ok, básicamente eso lo está diciendo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, uno inicia con el will y el otro empieza con el do. Ok. Uh -huh. está, okay. está bastante bien. Bastante bien, Rose. Thank ok, you. no nos olvidemos hacer de la segunda tarea, right? No sé si ya la vimos. No. Okay. Uh, ¿Está en el chat box? Mm, ok, para... Ok, primero lo, lo hacemos con su información, right? And then you're going to ask your classmate. No nos olvidemos de dar una respuesta, por ejemplo, Would you like to go to the museum? Uh, no, I wouldn't like. That's boring. Okay. okay, tenemos que dar una explicación, ¿ok? Ok, okay. You. okay you're welcome.
Hello, boys. Did you finish? Hello, guys. Did you finish? Hello, teacher. No, mándanos de nuevo al grupo que no nos habíamos fijado la otra parte que usted nos había puesto. <risa> ah, no, Juan. <risa> es que no las habíamos fijado porque estábamos, nosotros estábamos concentrados trabajando en lo que nos había dicho. Ok, ok. Ok. Ah, ah. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. <risa> Ok, let's go, let's go. Veamos si los puedo mover. Ay, que están bien diferentes estas, estos rooms. No me gusta esto. Así que queda entonces. Si no, lo que podemos hacer es que ustedes se pueden ¿Qué? salir. Si ¿Sí se pueden salir un ratito de la reunión. No. No. Ahorita. Ok, vas a. Ajá. ¿Al menos de, de ahorita? Sí, sí, ahorita. Ok. Uh Ok, ahí está. Ok, las... Carlos. There you are, Carlos. Ahí está. Ok.
Hello, Yvonne, Karina, did you finish? Uh, no. no. Okay. No questions? Um, no, estamos en las preguntas de teacher. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, lo estamos trabajando en Word, ¿verdad? Um, no. No? Okay. Okay. Es, la nos la vamos a, a compartir la respuesta. Okay, okay, okay. Don't forget to ask your classmate, right? Not just writing. You need to speak. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay. good. Hello guys, ¿cómo vamos? Hello teacher. So going? Okay, I like the answers, but I need to be them more longer, right? I need them to be longer. So for example, if you say, would you like to go to the museum? Yes, mm -hmm. I would like. Why? Because uh, it sounds interesting to me, but I need you to make it longer. Okay, longer the answer. So, for example, yes, I would. Uh, museums are fantastic. Okay. Okay. It's landed, right? Okay. More, y, in more esta dicho, aquí estuvimos como duda. Mm -hmm. en si es, do you want or do you like? Mm -hmm. Entonces, ¿cómo hacer para diferenciar cuando va a ser want or like? Ok, uh, en el caso de like, usualmente vamos a encontrar el would, would you like. Uh -huh. En el caso de do, vamos a encontrar, por ejemplo, do you have, for example. Or do you want también. Algo que es do you have, sería algo que usted tiene que hacer. ¿Tenés que hacer esto mañana? ¿Sí o no? En cambio, si es el want, es como que usted le está preguntando, mira, ¿quieres ir eh, mañana a almorzar? O la otra forma que también sería, would you like to dinner with me? Entonces, mm -hmm. cuando usted dice have, es como algo que usted tiene que hacer. En cambio, el want, mm -hmm. en ese caso solo estamos utilizando want y like, ¿verdad? Correcto. Que tengamos do, vamos a utilizar el want. Siempre que tengamos do, vamos a utilizar el want. Dependiendo, que tengamos el, dependiendo el de, la, ajá, de la pregunta, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdese que puede cambiar el sentido de la pregunta. Ajá, pero por ahí va a cambiar nada más. Entre one y have, nada más. ¿Cómo? O también, o, o, o sea, do you, el, cuando esté el do. Uh -huh. no, vamos el utilizar do you, el, no, no vamos a utilizar el would, por el ejemplo. Like. Ajá, correcto. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Es que Así. el would es como que diga, ¿te gustaría ir a hacer esto? Ajá, pero, si le, pero le puede preguntar, por ejemplo, ¿te gusta jugar soccer? Do you like to play soccer? En cambio, la uh -huh. otra es como que te gustaría hacer esto o aquello. Pero es como más, más como polite. El good. Es justo lo que yo traté de explicarle a David. Así lo entendía yo. ¿Mm? Sí, de hecho, de hecho sí es verdad. El good es como más, más como con más respeto. Por ejemplo, digamos a su esposa, mira, ¿te gustaría hacer esto o aquello? Okay, en cambio, la no, otra okay. es como que te gusta esto o esto. O esto, right. Uh -huh. Ok, Esa es como yeah. la the difference. Creo que entonces yeah. en esa parte estamos bien. Estamos bien, así es. Bastante. Entonces, la bien. otra parte es hacer las respuestas largas. Más largas, o sea, me refiero a que tenemos que dar una razón. O sea, ¿te gustaría ir al museo? ¿Por qué? Uh, ajá. Okay. Okay. Like. ok, perfect. Por ejemplo, like un like because que uh -huh. I would like to uh, because I, it is interesting to go to the museums because I like what the museum has, etc. Maybe, maybe because so. it is okay, it is okay. Yes, I would like to. Se recuerdan lo que vimos en la imagen que decía que también podemos. Eh, Escribir solo would like to, ¿verdad? Para hacerlo más corto. Ah, sí. Pero aquí sería dicho, yes, por ejemplo, dijo, uh -huh. I... ¿Lo podía hacer así? 
Yes. Correcto. Exacto. Eh, like, I like to, el tú siempre va a ir. Sí, sí, siempre. Ok. Because it is interesting. Necesita que le hagamos mal puesto. No, bien así, ahí está bien, ahí está bien. That's ok, okay. that's enough. Okay. okay, remember that that is your response, right? What about Grace responses? So she needs to do it by herself and then share your uh, answers, right? No, okay. Okay, that there must be different. Okay. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Entonces, Grace. Sí, te. Entonces sí. Hello, eh, Karina and Yvonne. Algo que no eh, se me olvidó eh, ex decirles es que no, no se nos va a olvidar escribir, por ejemplo, hacer la, la respuesta más larga en la parte 2. Ah, por ejemplo, ¿sí? si, si decimos, eh, would you like to go to the museum? ¿Te gustaría ir al museo? Sí, sí me gustaría ir. ¿Pero por qué? Uh, because it is interesting, because it is funny, right? Because it has a lot of things to show. Uh -huh. Okay, longer answers. Okay, teacher. Perfect, let's continue. ¿Cómo vamos? No sé si hay dudas, Jancy. Chancy, Benjamín, no sé si hay dudas. Questions? Um, teacher, solo uh -huh. en las respuestas de las preguntas, solo era poner el, el, el world, el, o, el word? Yes, uh -huh. o, o tener que poner una respuesta así larga. Una respuesta larga. Por ejemplo, si, si usted me dice, ¿te gustaría ir al, al museo? Usted me dice, yes, I would, ¿verdad? O a, Yes, I would love. Entonces. Bueno, yo le puse en la, en la número uno, le puse yes, I do. Uh -huh. No sé si también le tengo que poner por qué. I'd love to, sí, sí, sí. De hecho, es una respuesta larga. Por ejemplo, they are interesting, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué le gusta? Oh, because they are interesting. Mm. Or the museums mm. are interesting. Sí, porque yo solo las hice así cortas. Ah, ok. Necesito que le agreguemos más información, ¿verdad? Por okay. ejemplo, la segunda nos dice, Would you like to read an English book? ¿Le gustaría leer un libro en inglés? O sea, puede decir, no, I wouldn't like, no me gustaría. ¿Por qué? Uh, because I can't, I can't, I have a basic English, right? So I need to have more. O me puede contestar lo, lo contrario, right? Entonces, sí, tiene que ser okay. longer. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank okay. you, teacher. You're welcome. Oh, Juan, Carlos, did you finish? Hello? No, teacher. What happened, Carlos? Uh, Carlos ya terminó, yeah. pero yo... Carlos, is finished. Juan? Yes, I finished. <laughs> okay, so did you add long answers? Respuestas largas, Carlos, yes? Not short yeah. ones. Mm, uh, the answer. Are they long or short? Hi. Uh, 
medium. <laughs> mm. Okay, uh, tell me one, tell me one. Uh, for example, uh, mm. number one, mm -hmm. uh, would you like to go to the museum? Mm -hmm. Yes, I would because I like the art. Okay, perfect. What about two? Uh, would you like to read an English book? Mm -hmm. Yes, I would love it because what I have reading fluency. Because, ahí detengámonos, because. Because uh -huh. for I have mm, reading fluency. No. ¿Qué, ¿En español cómo sería? <risa> en español sería porque eh, eh, para tener una, le una lectura fluida. Oh, I need, ok, got it. I need to, I need, sí. uh, I need I to need have a, a fluent to understanding. understanding. Necesito ser más, ten, tener más fluidez, entonces eso nos referimos. Ajá, uh -huh. I need to have fluence. Ah, I need to have fluency. Fluency. Okay. Fluency. Uh -huh. okay. Um, number three. Mm -hmm. Ok, ¿es three de árbol o es a three de number? No les puedo alcanzar de escuchar. <laughs> three de number, three. Okay. Three, right? Three, three is a good kind of three. Okay, three. Okay. Mm. Would you like to take a taxi? <laughs> okay, would you like to take a taxi? A taxi? No, I wouldn't because I travel in my car. I travel by car, okay? Very good. What by. about four? By car. Ah, okay. Yo, yo uh, put uh, right down. Okay. In, in mm -hmm. my. Uh, okay, yes, I, I travel by car, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. And number four, would you like to take a plane to Lima? Uh -huh. Yes, I would because I to know the culture. Okay. Five. Would you like to exchange money on Salt Avenue? Mm, no, I wouldn't because I don't use in my country. Okay. Uh -huh. um, six would uh -huh. you like to take a train to Machu Picchu uh -huh. yes I would because I love it to know other places okay I love to know other places uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, seven would you like to see a movie in English yes I would love it because for refresh <laughs> my English <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> because to because uh -huh. for uh, puse, because for refresh my English no. Oh, okay, because okay. Because I need because I need to uh -huh. refresh, right? Uh, refresh. Okay. Pero otra palabra en vez de refresh, como eh, qué podemos uh, utilizar? More vocabulary. Oh, I need to get, or I need to have more vocabulary. I need to have. No, some of his, I need to have more vocabulary. <laughs> okay. Number eight. Would you like to write an email to your teacher? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I would, because for to send a birth card. Okay, vamos a arreglar esa. Uh -huh. Okay, the answer, please. Uh -huh. Yes, I would because, o sea, yo quiero poner para enviar, por eso puse for to send. No, for, no podemos tener for to send en, en así. Well, to send, para enviar, uh -huh. to send, ahí solo es to. Okay, to uh -huh. send a birthday card. To send a birthday card, exactly. Okay. Would okay, you continue. Like to call, okay, would you like to call a friend in the USA? Mm -hmm. USA. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I would because for I him. Because Saludarlo. oh, to say hello. Ah, no, it's great. 
to say hello, to say para saludarlo, to say okay. hello, or to greet him, to say hello. Uh -huh. For, uh, okay, number uh -huh. 10, uh -huh. would you like to eat in an expensive restaurant? Yes, I would, for to eat a good... Otra fish, vez, fish. for two, tengo el for two for, ahí. Okay, because uh -huh. to eat a good dish. Because I need, I, I would like to eat a new dish. Pero uh -huh. um, to eat, I... Because I would like to eat a new dish. I would need, I would need, a, no. I would uh, like, ahí podemos utilizar. I would utilizar. like. I would to, like. To eat. To eat a new dish, ah, right? In, Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, Juan, now yes, Thank tell you. me. Una pregunta, tell es me. que la 5 no la la 5 no la he respondido porque no qué qué de antes significa. Okay, la number 5, would you like to exchange money on Seoul Avenue? Si le gustaría este cómo intercambiar el dinero en Seoul Avenue, creo que es como un país. Seoul Avenue. Mm. Uh -huh. Sí, es, está en Dubai, de hecho. So, Avenue. Yo no sabía, solo entendí que era otra moneda que no me iba a servir aquí. <risa> <risa> Veo que es un lugar, de hecho, So, so Avenue. Sí. Bueno. Voy yo entonces. Ya, yeah, go ahead. Ok. La number one. Would you like to go to the museum? Museum. Museum. Yes, I love to. No, yes, I love to. Uh -huh. um, the the museum are amazing. Okay. Uh -huh. would, would you like to read an English book? Uh -huh. I'd like to, but I don't understand it. Uh -huh. ¿Se nos fue? Ah, sí, ya se va a acabar. Ok. Hola. Hello, hello, sorry. I was talking to myself. <laughs> okay, tell me, Juan, what do you have? Tell me the answers. Number two. Uh -huh. Number two. <clears throat> two. Yes, from this part. Okay. okay. Would you like to read a book? I oh, like. Can you to... see my screen, Juan? Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, oh. to you. Uh huh. Make it teacher for other room solo. Bye. <laughs> do la segunda sería the second. Uh -huh. Do you want to do you want to go to basketball game tomorrow night? The answer. Uh, I don't really like basketball. Do you want to do something else? Okay. Do you no, want to go? Okay, so it is going to be, okay, I don't really like basketball, right? Do you want to go to do something else? Okay, what about three? Uh, let's see, thank you, Juan. Later, you're going to read your, your questions. Okay, don't worry. Number three, uh, David, please. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher, the number three, uh -huh. then one moment, please. Uh -huh. uh, is, if, if, like to f would you like to see a play tonight tonight uh, uh -huh. tonight i can't mm -hmm. i need to help my parents okay perfect what about four let's see rose what about four do you number four do you have to go swimming on saturday answer is um letter a I like to, but I don't mm. have a swim. Uh, Suit. 
asked, okay, do you want to go swimming on Saturday? Oh, I'd like to. Okay, what about five? Yvonne, what about five? Do you? Would you, would you like to? Five? Five. Mm -hmm. Would you, would you like to? Mm -hmm. Do you want? Okay. Do you want? Number five. Eh, teacher, así le hice. Do you would? Ah, no. No podemos, no podemos tener do you would, no. Do you Entonces, want. Do you want. Yeah, exacto. Do you want to? Okay. ¿Y cuál sería la respuesta? Do you want to? What is the answer? Um, letter B. I am sorry. I'm sorry, but I have to talk to the teacher after school. Yes, exactly. Do you want to play soccer? I'm sorry, but I have to talk to the teacher. Okay, perfect, Yvonne. Hey, Karina, number six, please. Number six. What, mm -hmm. do, what do you want to like to mm -hmm. go to a hip-hop concert on Saturday night? Mm -hmm. Y, yes, I, I really, uh -huh. here is my favorite, my favorite type, type, ¿verdad? Yes. Type of music. Excellent. Type of music. type of music. Okay, very good. Would you like to go to a hip hop concert on Saturday? Yep. I'd love to. Okay, guys, let's go with the next question. Okay, lo vamos a hacer en pareja, right? Recordemos respuestas largas, long answers, right? Not yes, no, cortas, no, long answers. Okay, I'm going to start with the first couple. Voy a empezar con la primera, with the first partners. Let me check who they are. Let's see. Okay, eh, so cinco preguntas se lo va a preguntar un compañero y las otras cinco, the other one, okay? So the first group is going to be Carlos and Juan. Ready, Carlos and Juan? Hello? Hello, Carlos, Hi. Juan? Hi. Okay, yeah. so Juan, from one to five, usted le va a hacer las preguntas a, a Carlos, a perdón. Juan. A Juan, Juan, y Juan de las seis a la diez to Carlos, okay? Okay. Está Juan, yep, are you there? Yep. Yes. Okay, good. Go ahead. Uh, Juan, would you like to the museum? Yes, I'd love to. The museum are amazing. Uh -huh. uh, would you like to read an English book? I love, but I don't understand it. Would you like to take a taxi? Mm -hmm. No, I won't like, I prefer Uber. Would you like to take a plane to Lima? I'd love to, because I want to visit Lima. <laughs> okay, Juan, very good. Okay, <laughs> I will find out, is missing? Okay, yes, fine. Exactly. Would you like to exchange money on Seoul Avenue? No, I won't like to because I don't know that money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, very, very fancy, Juan, right? Very fancy, <laughs> Uber, el, right? Juan, Uber. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Juan, now ask Carlos, please, ask Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Okay. Would you like to take a train to Machu Picchu? Yes, I would because I love it to know other places. Uh, would you like to see a movie in English? Yes, uh, I would love it because I need to have more vocabulary. And uh, would you like to write an email to your teacher? Yes, I would because to to send a birthday card. Would you like to call a friend in the USA? Yes, I would because uh, for greet him or 
Hello. <laughs> ah, hello him. <laughs> hello him. <laughs> And the last one. Would okay. you like to eat in an expensive restaurant? Yes, I would because I would like the new dish. Okay, thank you, Carlos. That's it. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go with the next partner. The next couple is going to be Abigail and Rose. Are you ready like this? Abigail and Rose? Yes, teacher. Okay, from one to five, Rose, and from six to ten, Abigail. Okay, go ahead. Abigail, would you like to go to the museum? Teacher, okay. Oh. okay. Creo que esa parte no la he terminado porque solo contesté la primera, teacher, porque le dije a Rosy que estaba un poco ocupada con mi mami, que la tengo mal. Ok, 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 no problem, no problem, eh, amiga, y continue. Ok, I'm going to practice with your Rose, ready? Ok. Ok, so tell me, would you like to go to the museum? Yes, I would like, that's inter interesting. Mm -hmm. Ok, good. What about if, uh, would you like to read an English book? Yes, I would like to help me learn more. Okay, now, Rose, sin ver las notas, Rose, nada. I... Just tell me, just tell me, okay? <laughs> I know you okay. can, okay. Would you like to take a plane to Lima? Would you like to take a plane to Lima? Yes, I would like, that's fantastic. Okay, there you have, okay. Would you like to eat an expensive, in an expensive restaurant? Yes, I uh and food is delicious excellent rose there you have okay one more one more rose would you like to call a friend in the usa uh yeah i would like i love call my friends in usa okay perfect rose congratulations okay thank you okay good guys ese es el punto right que tratamos de ser fluidez right that to have that fluency okay let's see group number let's see group The next group is going to be, okay, let's see, one group more. El, veamos, tengo a Juan, ya pasó, Benjamín, pero yo creo que Benjamín tenemos problemas con el micrófono. ¿Todavía, Benjamín? ¿Con la lluvia? ¿Todavía? Oh, pero así no tenemos tiempo, right? Se salvó, Benjamín. <ríe> ok. Teacher, ¿y quién ganó ayer? ¿Perdón? Fíjese que ya no pasaron. Todavía me quedaron pendientes. Ganamos con Juan Antonio. Como no, 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 no hemos decidido todavía. Tiene que, tienen que hacer el poll. Sí, todavía. Es que algunos no vinieron ahora, fíjese. Ok. Dice que vaya. Como que sabían que iban a pasar, ¿verdad? Y no, me, me vinieron temprano. <risa> ok, good guys. Vámonos entonces to the quiz number 17. Mientras ustedes lo hacen el quiz, eh, paso asistencia nuevamente. Eh, para los que no estuvieron al principio, les comentaba que ya Insafor ya empezó a mandar los correos para compartirles el proceso de cómo va a ser la encuesta. Entonces, solo solicitarles que hagamos en la clase el, la encuesta, no vayamos a hacer nada, algo antes, ¿verdad? Sino que eso se va a hacer en el espacio de la clase. ¿Ok? ¿Sí, Carlos? Eh, dice que eh, yo tengo un correo del 5 de octubre, pero me dice de que para el módulo 5, me dice. Uh -huh. no, para el, para el módulo 5. Ajá. Yo creo que se equivocaron. Sí, quizás se han equivocado. Ajá, y voy a revisar. ¿Quieren adelantar, compañero? Sí, sí pero voy ajá, a dar vía. <risa> no, no, no creo, no creo, no creo. No, no. Yo sé que se defendería. I know. Pero voy a revisar. Sí, no, de, de hecho, eso lo tuvieron que haber mandado ayer o ahora. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ok. Teacher, lo de esa encuesta ya no lo mandaron a todos. Sí, entiendo que este día es como que mandaron los correos, sino hasta el próximo lunes creo que les van a mandar la información. Ok. Uh -huh. 
Si no, no, ¿por qué nos sacaron? No, no creo, no creo. Ok, veamos. La 70, ¿verdad? Sí, 17. La tarea. 17, ok, 17. Ok, Carolina está, Carolina, Abigail, yes, right. Chévere, okay. sorry. <laughs> half and half. <laughs> okay, no problem, Abigail. Grace, yes, right. Okay, let's see. Yes, teacher. Okay, Juan Antonio. Yeah, right. I'm here. Okay, y Beth, está y Beth, no está. No. Karen Ivon, yes, yes, there you are. Okay, good. Yep. También Karina Araceli Gómez. Ah, ok, there you are. Perfect, Karina. And um, María Julia. No. And Raúl Otoniel. Raúl Otoniel, no. And Jancy, Jancy, ok. Y vamos a continuar el próximo nivel, guys, el próximo módulo. Yep, yeah, or no. Yes, teacher. Ok, yes. that's good, guys, that's good, yes, that's teacher. good. Y lo okay. paso, claro que yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> claro que yes. ¿Cómo va a creer? Ok, guys, no les quito mucho tiempo. Si ya terminamos el quiz, we can say goodbye to each other and I hope you have a big, big night, right? So see you next week. Ok, yes, have a good weekend, class. guys. Terminamos el miércoles, ok? We finished uh, el miércoles. Nos quedan todavía tres clases. Ok, okay teacher. Thank you. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> bye bye, Rose. Take care. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. See you. Se me fue Selena. No está. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye, Abigail. See you. Sí, se me puso. Hola, hola, Yancy. Did you finish? ¿Terminamos, Yancy? Hola, hola. Sí, teacher. Ah, bye. Está bien. ¿Se puede retirar o no sé si quiere que demos un refuerzo? Uh, no, creo que a mí me toca el martes. <risa> no, teacher, no, teacher. Gracias, dígame. <risa> Next. <risa> ok, Yancy, ok. Nos vemos entonces el lunes con usted, ok. Ok. Feliz noche. <risa> Feliz noche. Sí, good night. <risa>